Here. Ms. Gleason? Here. Mr. Johnson? Here. Ms. Hamblin? Here. Ms. Stearns? Here. Mr. Winkle? Here. Mrs. Wessler? Here. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
we're very excited to try to take it forward. We're also trying some new things with initiatives with the governor's office, and we're hoping to get some resources and assets from them to uh, help this thing move along. And we're going to have a follow-up meeting here uh, after the auto show now that it's over, and uh, talk a little bit more about you know where we can take this. So I want to say thank you for recognizing, thank you for working with us. We think there's a lot more that we can do here, and it was a great start. Thanks to people like April. And Wrapped up here, sorry. <laughs> Ready? Next, we'll go into our school presentation. Uh, first, I would like to recognize two of our science teachers um, who have recently completed national board certification. Um, we have Dr. James Burrell and Mr. Lee Rosinski. Um, so, National Board is one of the highest honors that a teacher can receive. Um, it requires a four-tier assessment that is quite in-depth and thorough. It's to show that they know not only their content very well, but their students, the pedagogy that is involved in teaching, and um, that they are that they know how to use data and work as team members um, in educating our students. Um, I'd like to ask them to come up here and share um, what it entails to become nationally board certified and maybe reasons why they chose to do so. Thanks. Sure, why not? <laughs> uh, so everybody knows the answer. here I've been here for at Finley Park for seven years I teach chemistry and I teach physics and these two have been like mentors to me uh, I've learned a lot from them through the years they both worked closely with me in developing my personal curriculum um, and they are very well deserving of a national board certification they've been, they've been great teachers here at Finley Park. All right so next we will go to my presentation. <laughs> So, yeah. 
So this year we started something that we are calling Con Club. It is a program for SAT prep that is based off of Khan Academy's uh, program that they've built in collaboration with the College Board. Um, so this started really last year. Um, Teresa had put together something that she called Conicon um, as an incentive for students who log in so many hours into the Khan Academy program, SAT prep. Um, and it was basically like a little party or fest to kind of um, loosen up a little bit before they go into taking their SAT in the spring. Um, last year, it was just for juniors who reached 20 hours, like 10 in math and 10 in English. Um, and this program like, started in March and ran through April in, in testing. Uh, we saw some improvement in test scores, uh, so we wanted to expand the program. So this year, we've created something called Khan Club, and we are also continuing our Khan Khan. Uh, this year, we've opened it up to everybody. So we saw this as something that could be beneficial not only to our juniors who are taking the SAT this year, but also to our freshmen and sophomore students who are preparing to take this test in a couple of years. So uh, we figured why not give them a head start and start preparing right away. Um, what we are doing is we're providing them a location to do this and some motivation. We're uh, supplying some resources. We have teachers in the IMC working with them uh, to answer questions, to help them, you know, through the flow of questions. Um, and then we're also, again, having a little party for students that reach uh, 20 hours in a subject. Um, so I shared this presentation with our students during their study halls this year to invite them out. We did this in January when we first came back from break. Um, Con, Con Club runs Tuesdays and Thursdays after school from three to four. We are in the IMC using the computers. Um, we've invited all our freshmen, sophomores, and seniors, and it's targeted SAT prep using the Khan Academy program. Um, so we shared with the students on why they should join and come with us, but before I go into what I shared with them, I'm gonna invite two students who have been participating with us fairly regularly, or very regularly actually, um, at Khan Club to explain why they come to Khan Club and why they like using the Khan Academy SAT prep program. So we have, you guys can come on up, we have Maddie Ellis and Leslie Martinez. Leslie, so Leslie, you're a sophomore. Why don't you share why you like coming to Khan Academy um, as a sophomore? <coughs> Uh, 
Uh, theoretically, there should be 208 hours of log, uh, but we're keeping track as well. I've added the students to my own personal like Khan Academy class, so we can see that the how much time they're putting in in English and math, and then we can, after testing, we can go back and see how well did this actually help our students. That 115 point increase was Khan Academy and the College Board's number nationally. We want to see how this is doing for our students, and so we're keeping that data as well, and we'll see how we want to expand this program as we continue uh, next year. Um, so this, yeah, like I said, this is a program we've been running throughout the year. Um, our, our, we're pretty happy with our numbers. We're getting around 20 kids a day. Um, and so obviously the kids have been pretty <coughs> interested in coming. Uh, the numbers have been consistent. Uh, the kids have been consistently showing up on a regular basis. And so we're really excited to see how this does help us uh, come springtime. Those are kids who are coming in to our, our uh, con club after school, three to four. They sign in with us and then they work on the computers like on their own or in their groups. And um, I'm there pretty much the whole time every day and I kind of walk around and I would say like 99% of the time they are all on the Khan Academy program doing the targeted FAP practice. They can work on other things, we're not like forcing them. But um, they they're working on it, and uh, they're pretty motivated to do it. So. And the forty-three students. So um, so of those two hundred and eight, there's a, it, that's composed of forty-four <coughs> different students. So we've had a lot of like kids who come back week to week. Okay. So um, so we've had forty-four um, you know, different students, and then two hundred and eight. Uh, like so if we repeat those 200 days they're coming over okay. so we're trying to expand that we want that number to grow um, additionally on that uh, we are also trying to like target different subgroups the kids who need support the most and inviting those kids out um, to come join us to help their scores uh, because this is a free program as opposed to many other SAP prep programs which can be quite costly um, this is something that's free, so we're trying to motivate students maybe who uh, don't have those resources to go get SAP prep elsewhere. What kind of buy-in are you getting from freshmen and sophomores? Um, our sophomore numbers are really good. We have a handful of freshmen. The freshman numbers are not, uh, not that high. But the sophomore numbers are surprisingly good. I'd say the majority is composed of our juniors. Um, but we do have, we have quite a few sophomores that come. I, uh, I haven't looked at those numbers specifically, but uh, the fact that they're coming. Yes, yes. So like Leslie, who was up here, is a sophomore. Um, I wanted to bring a sophomore in to talk about their experience as well, because it is it is interesting to see that they have that foresight to start practicing for the SAT you know, two years ahead of time. Now it's still probably here at Temple. Yeah, right now this is just something that we've uh, created. In How are you selling the program to the kids to increase your <laughs> percentage of pizza? Um, so I mean, are you getting the word out to mom and dad, and and are they, you know, maybe sitting down talking about it at home and then coming back? 
back to you. So as of right now, um, we have sent out and we sent out like an email to all our parents okay. uh, informing them of the program. Uh, we've done that twice so far. Um, it's been a couple weeks. It's, I think it's been two weeks since our last one, so we'll probably be sending out another one. Um, as we get closer, I'm going to start. I want to start ramping up um, the targeted invites as well. Uh, we're in the announcements. We send the students invites through their emails um, regularly as well. Um, there's posters throughout the building, and uh, we handed out flyers for teachers to hang in their classroom. Um, I am constantly bugging students myself when I see them they go they're like oh here comes Mr. Santoni he's gonna tell me to come to Khan Academy um, so um, we've been getting the word out through that I went and talked to all the uh, all the study halls as well and so and I shared mostly that was the same presentation that I shared with them there's a couple other things I added with them um, to talk about score increases and incentives um, but you know, and then there's word of mouth the kids are inviting uh, their friends. I s I've seen a lot of that. A student who comes on a regular basis is bringing their friends in the next week. Um, we had, today we had, I think, five new faces in the room. Um, so it's, it's growing. And, and uh, you know, we hope to keep the momentum. And especially as we get closer to testing, we're hoping that the numbers increase still. Um, in the IMP, we have 40-some computers. So I'd love to see 40-some kids in there. And if we have to, we'll get the laptop carts out, we'll get the iPads, you know, whatever we gotta do. Uh, awesome accommodate program. Them. Very nice. Yes. Yeah, free. <laughs> name, address, contact person, or email address. This request has been completed. Katie Kim, NBC5 Chicago, requested any and all written agreements in our contracts between Bremen Community High School District 228 and companies that provide content filtering, monitoring software for school district issued devices for students, including Mark Securely, Goal Guardian, etc., and documents sufficient to fill policies guidelines for school district issued devices for students. This request has been completed. Jim Plotheis requested an electronic copy of the current Illinois Central bus contract. This request has been completed. Nathan Mihalik, Illinois Retired Teacher Association, requested the name and email address of any certified staff who are retiring this year. This request has been completed. Iris Martinez, Foundation requested copies of public records that are outlined below and please organize this information in the following manner. First name, middle name, last name, position, grade level, subject area taught, certified in area of instruction, school email, personal email, phone number, race, ethnicity, hire dates, years of experience, and current salary. This request has been partially granted and partially denied. The 46th Annual District Fine Arts Festival will take place on Saturday, March 7th at Bremen High School in the Fieldhouse. This event, which is free and open to the public, begins at 9 a.m. with exhibits of outstanding artwork created by art students from all four high schools, as well as our grade school 
college boost in musical performances continuing to soon to surge. I hope you and your family and friends will be able to attend this very special event that showcases our students' artistic accomplishments and musical talent. You can find the schedule of events on our district website in the fine and performing arts section of our academic page. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sindel. Any board member reports? I have a few things. Um, I just want to give a little recognition to some, some people and some organizations here. Obviously, we had our fishing show here at the high school over the weekend, uh, had a chance to attend. It's fantastic. I was really excited to see how the field house is, uh, the field house was used. Um, and uh, it looked like everything fit like a glove in there. It was really awesome. So, um, you know, as I spoke with uh, Dr. Nolan, um, you know, she informed me that there's a ton of people involved. But, you know, the two people I know that are really involved, obviously Mike Mongan and Rich Comar, uh, I just want to say you guys did a great job the other day um, with the organization of it, and it just was a fun time. So congratulations, Finley, on that. And, and the show was always good. So, um, and then I just one last thing. I just want to congratulate uh, Oak Forest, uh, the chair team, and Tinley Park's chair team. I know Oak Forest made it. I think they were second in state, and then Oak Forest was or Tinley Park was right there um, on that Friday. So. I did talk with Brad. I tried to get there, but I couldn't. But uh, congratulations to all involved. I mean, that's really awesome. So, yeah. Any other board member reports? Okay. Moving on to new business. Item 7.1. Item 7.1 pertains to, pertains to the bills, addendum to bills, payroll, and CBS bills. These items have been reviewed and are being recommended for, for full board approval. So moved. Second. Moved by Mr. Wigfell, second by Mr. Sandy. Any discussion? <coughs> Roll call, please. Mr. Wigfell? Aye. Mr. Sandy? Aye. Mrs. Gleason? Aye. Mr. Thompson? Aye. Mr. Campwick? Aye. Ms. Stern? Aye. Mrs. Rester? Aye. Item 7.2 pertains to the FY 2020 property tax relief grant abatement resolution. The abatement amount will be $3,363,327 for tax years 2019 and 2020. The resolution will be filed with the Cook County Clerk before March 30th. This item is being recommended for full board approval. So moved. Second. Moved by Mr. Wilson, second by Mr. Sandy. Any discussion? Um, is it 3.3 in total for both years or per year? Per year. Per year. And it'll show up on the fall taxes this year? Yes. Yeah, I'd just like to say a few words again here. Um, both sides, obviously, congratulations. We, you know, it took us a while, but we got there. Um, obviously, people that were involved in this know that it's a it's a pretty harsh process, and, and it did take a while. But I know I talked to, or I mentioned something back in the uh, in the summer. We had a meeting at Oak Forest 
high school, and there was this young teacher, and, and I'm sorry, I forgot his name, and you know, he mentioned something to me, and I, and I told him, I said, you know what, personally, as a board member, I will never sign an unfair contract, and, um, and I'm happy to say today, we get to sign a fair contract for both sides. I feel like the teachers did pretty well, and our taxpayers also did okay, so um, congratulations to everybody involved. Second. Move by Mr. Canning, second by Ms. Gleason. Any discussion? Roll call, please. 